All right, you guys, welcome to another episode of Pure Madness. But I've taken somebody else along the ride for me right now. Four o'clock in the morning, going to the airport. All right, so I was a little pressured to get on the bus right then, so I couldn't explain what's going on today. So, my man Brian. What up? And I, if you go to Tiny House Movement, it's just Tiny House Movement, right? Not yep. the, not A, not just underscore double negative. 87. 87 tiny yep. homes movement momentous. So, anyways, Brian and I are leaving to go check something out right now. Not only to check it out, but to purchase it. Uh, I've got a checkbook in my backpack. Rach doesn't know there's a checkbook in my backpack. No. Rach doesn't know exactly. She'll, she'll find out when she checks the you know, She'll find out when it gets <laughs> delivered to our backyard. So, I... I am looking at a tiny house community, an entire community. And because I'm talking to you, I don't know where I'm going in McCarran Airport right now. So I'll chime in to you guys in a second, tell you a little bit more about this, what we're doing, how we're doing it, and all the awkward things that are gonna happen along the way. It's gonna be awesome. Woo! All right, you guys, I'm now in Georgia. Just got off with the phone with the current owner of the community. And he just let me know there is nowhere to buy food by this thing. It's on a lake out in the middle of nowhere. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, it's exactly what I want because it's far away from everything. But gotta get some groceries because I don't have a fishing rod to go catch my dinner. So find some groceries, then gonna find the property and I'm pumped to show you guys what it looks like because I haven't even seen it either. All right, so Brian, we are under a strict diet, and so inside this tiny home, what are we gonna cook ourselves for dinner tonight? Uh, I have DiGiorno pizza. Okay. And Nutter Butters. Is it the rising crust? It is the rising crust. Oh, well then it's great. Then yeah. Can I share? Very healthy. Okay, can very I share? Healthy. Yeah, no? Yes. I mean, he's One a time. very tall One time. American, so he probably needs the whole pizza. I am not petite. <laughs> that is not my thing. <laughs> So yeah, no, I can eat all. Okay, so I got Nutter Butters and some little packets of oatmeal. And because I don't want to dirty their bowls and all the other stuff, I want to keep everything nice. So uh, dudes don't shop for food very well unless it's for a barbecue. That's what I'm going to say. It's for a barbecue, four racks of ribs. That's how we do it. No. Uh, Nutter Butters, Coke Zero a frozen pizza that'll be thawed by the time we get there and then we don't know what to do with it. A couple little teeny oatmeal things we put hot water in. And I got hot tamales and donuts. Hot tamales and donuts. We can live forever. All right, how far until we get to the tiny home? An hour. Commute, still another hour. All right, you guys, I'm kind of nervous, so I'm We're freaking good. out. I want to be there already. Are we there yet? Yep. Don't mind the windshield wipers, but just look at all the trees and all the green. This looks like exactly my style, exactly where I want to go. Uh, Brian, you? Yeah, I love the fact that there's so much green and you don't need a sprinkler system anywhere. Like there's houses hiding everywhere. Look at these things. So, I'm, yeah, I'm excited, I'm nervous, we'll see what this rainstorm can, ooh, it's nice and clean now. All right, so I have a confession to make. We got here way too late. I didn't get to show you the big reveal. I didn't get to show you all the cool, how epic the river running through it, the lake, everything. That's gonna have to be in the morning. But look at this epic little tiny home, right? It's got, oh, I can't even, wait. Can't even turn on a light. <gasps> light switch, ta-da. So, look at this bedroom. It's small, nice big ceiling, but there's closets back here, cabinet right there. I will end up putting a TV in there. Another closet over here. Really good windows, windows. Anyways, I am super pumped and I'm starving. 
So Brian and I got a little pizza. We wish we bought four. Um, we're heating it up. We're gonna have dinner. It's, it's about that time. But we're smiling. This place is incredible. It's been an awesome day, man. It is awesome. It's super late at night. We've actually been here forever. I didn't film any of it <laughs> because it was just too dark and it was soaking wet and it was rainy. So in the morning, sunrise reveal, show you the place, show you everything. So we live such glamorous lives, right? People, people think, oh man, if I could only, if I could only live my life so that I could eat pizza on a stool where other people's butts went. In a tiny home. In a, ti in a tiny home. <laughs> we have no table. So we made the best out of what we could. We freaking make do, man. Yeah, we lit, almost lit this tiny home on fire. That story will be somewhere else. Or go to Tiny House Movement and go to their previous story. Did you highlight that story under somewhere? No, I haven't yet, this is my last one. He'll, he'll highlight his last story. It is me lighting this place on fire, not intentionally. You have to go there to figure out the story. Not, but it was- Not a big deal. It, no, no, not a big deal. Because we're cooking these pizzas. So, we're gonna finish eating our dinner on these stools, then going to bed, Waking up early, gonna film the whole reveal of this place, the river, the lake, the forests around us, all the different tiny homes here, and I've got some surprises. Stay tuned. All right, so it's time to show you the first unit. All right, look at this bad boy. Those dormers, the different roof line, it changes it up just enough. One of my favorite features is I, you know, who gets a patio on their little tiny home? Come on, this is so great. Now, French doors, opens up nice and wide, tons of light, and welcome to the cabin. Look at this thing. Right in your little dining room table, big old kitchen for such a small home, but then you go up the little stairs, and ta-da! Kids can sleep up top. You've got your laundry and your stuff. I love the bunk beds. I love it. So, something I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose which one of these we are gonna take and have parked in our backyard. Right now, I'm all the way on the east coast of the United States. I'm gonna have one of these driven all the way back to our house in the desert. So help me choose which one I'm gonna put at my house because I love, we have so many guests, we have tons of people who stop by. I love this one with the high ceilings, the big old loft, the master bedroom, the bunk beds. If I put a hide-a-bed here or a pull-out couch, we could sleep 10 people in this thing when they come to visit us. So we've got four more to check out. All right, coming out of that one, now we're going into a little bit smaller one. Totally different layout though. The kitchen is bigger, it's got a little island and a bar. Here we go, but, 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 let's back this up. Let's back this up, not fall down the stairs. All right. Look at that awesome little covered patio once again. All right, here we go. So. Oh goodness. A little bar to sit out, big old kitchen, nice living room. You could turn this into a little dining room, a little, Little L-shaped couch there. Once again though, with these epic little upstairs lofts. Look at how massive this one is. You could fit a queen bed, a twin bed, another twin bed here, sleep four people up here if you really had to, or just a bunch of futon mattresses. So, here's one thing I do like though, is this huge kitchen. Because if you're gonna stay in here and live in here for long periods of time, big old kitchen, Nice living space. Now, it does have less bedrooms downstairs and doesn't have the tall vaulted ceilings, but that's because of that loft. Look at this awesome master though. Nice big bathroom, got your washer and dryers, got your pantry, your fridge, right? So I do love this unit. This one's great for a few, a little bit fewer people, but it's still amazing. So. Let's go and hit this guy now. All right, so I don't see any dormers or windows upstairs. So I'm thinking this one 
doesn't have a loft. So I wonder how they're gonna sleep everybody. Still, once again, nice, amazing patio. Overlooking these awesome fire pits. Just that chill, relax area. All right. Oh man, tall ceilings, awesome little TV room, and bunk beds in the bedroom. Wow! Tall ceilings, really tall ceilings throughout. Really long corridor kitchen, really nice pantry, big tall bathroom. Oh my goodness. So once again, four people, maybe six with a couch. This one's awesome. I love the gray and the white color scheme in it. Tell me what you guys think. Have you guys chosen one yet? I haven't. I really like the colors of this one though. That kind of washed gray and washed white. Man, I really, really like this one. Let's go over to this guy. Oh, we've got the dormers again. Oh my goodness, lots of dormers. And they're near the front. Really nice deck once again. This one, once again with the French doors. And, oh wow, so this one, we were actually doing some business since we still got some briefcases and stuff, but don't mind the serious stuff. Difference is this one doesn't have windows right here. TV, fireplace, let's, let's go deep into it. Medium sized kitchen, but it goes both sides, which I really enjoy. I enjoy this pantry and the washer and dryer and the cabinets and the bathroom. I don't think I've shown this yet. I love the way they did these closets. You've got a dresser in the middle, but then you've got a really nice long his and a really nice long hers closet. I love the way this is set up. Big tall ceilings, really nice walkway. Man, I could send this one to my house. It's so nice. You know what I would do though? I would take out the laundry machines, the pantry, and I'll put bunks in this. So you could have those bunk beds again, the master bedroom, and the huge loft with the big old window living. Yeah, I think I chose. I think I chose my love. I really enjoy this one. Oh, we didn't look at the loft yet. Look at how huge that is. Whoa, those are some big stairs. Oh yeah, look at that. You could fit a queen size here, a twin there, and another twin there. And when people come to visit us, we'd have tons and, I'm going backwards down the stairs. Tons and tons of space to sleep our friends. So if you've liked one of these so far, one, two, three, or four, let me know. Before I decide, before I tell you the craziest part of all of this, we're gonna go on a little ride through this whole park and see the rest of it. There's a river, there's a, a lake. I gotta see the rest of this place while I deliberate which of these homes I want to box up and also take home and surprise Rach with a new home in our backyard. All right, I'm gonna share with you guys the secret. Do you see all the rocks underneath this? There's a secret. This is actually a trailer. Doesn't look like it. Looks like a home. It is a home, but it's actually a trailer. Let me show you this. Looks just like that one. Boom. Look at that. This sucker is towed behind a truck. Can you believe it? Come on. So what that means is almost anybody can park this behind their house or on a property or any of these places because it's actually a trailer. You've seen people with trailers in their backyard, right? Ta-da! All of a sudden you can have a whole nother apartment depending on your city, depending on where you live. But most places totally allowed to have one of these. And then you just do what they call skirting it, right? It is what it sounds like. You've got all these hooks and braces along the side. You just run a skirt around it. So here they all are. What they do is they put blocks under specific parts of this jack it up a little bit, block it down so it's super stable, and then you have a house and it doesn't feel and move like a trailer. And look at all these different colors, different designs, different sets, and guess what? Here's the surprise. We're at the factory that builds these, and guess what? Now we build these. 
Stay tuned for next week. We're going inside. We're going to show you how these are all built and how this large American oh my gosh, and I are going to sell, build and sell tiny homes all over the United States through our company, Tiny and Proud Homes. Stay tuned.